ओम ज्ञानतिमीरांदनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील येना तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति भक्तिवेदातस्वामीनामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर इन दिस सेशन इट कंटिन्यू टू डिस्कस फ्रॉम द नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ वर्सेस ऑफ द नाइनटीन चैप्टर ऑफ द फर्स्ट कैंट ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम these two verses describe the names of some of the great sages who arrived at the spot where parikshit maharaj was sitting uh, fasting unto death preparing himself for quitting his body so when the news spread great personalities from the upper planets of the universe arrived there because they could foresee that shrimad bhagavatam is going to be spoken so they came to associate with uh, parikshit maharaj and chukadev goswami so shrila prabhupad continuing the discussion of the purport shrila prabhupad describes briefly uh, some of the uh, uh, the characteristics or the historical uh, details about the great sages their personality how they are so great personalities themselves uh vasishta vasishta is the great celebrated sage among the brahmanas well known as the brahma rishi rishi means a sage uh among the rishis there are different kinds of rishis brahma rishi is a sage among the brahmanas a uh, devarishi is a sage among the devatas devas narada is a devarishi vasishta is a brahma rishi a uh, parikshit is a rajarishi he is a sage amongst uh, great kings raja rishi so rajarishi so um, like parikshit is a rajarishi narada is a devarishi vasishta is a brahma rishi now vasishta is a prominent figure in both the ramayana and mahabharata periods we should remember uh, ramayana is in treta yuga a historical uh, narration of an uh, history of the great uh, incarnation of the supreme lord lord rama mahabharata is the history of the pandavas and kauravas during the dwapar yuga a later age but still such personalities as uh, brahma shiva vasishta bhrugu muni they all live uh, beyond the duration of uh, Uh, one yuga a yuga itself this kali yuga lasts 4 lakh 32000 years according to the calculation of time on the earth planet huh? so they live beyond even the four yugas put together the four yugas put together satya treta dwapara kali each uh, previous yuga to the kali yuga is uh, two times three times four times the duration of kali yuga so sum total of the four uh, yugas duration satya treta dwapara kali is uh, 43 lakhs of years 43 lakhs of years that's 4 million 
uh, some 320,000 years, millions of years. So even beyond that they live, they are all residents of the upper planets where these planets are not uh, destroyed at the end of Brahma's day. They live even beyond one day of Brahma. One day of Brahma is 1000 cycles of the four yugas on the earth planet. Hmm? So they live beyond all this. So these uh, great personalities, uh, they uh, appear in uh, descriptions of the incidents in Ramayana. They appear in the uh, descriptions of the incidents in Mahabharata. They appear in the descriptions of the Puranas. The Puranas are very ancient histories. They go back to the uh, beginning of creation. They go back to the previous day of Brahma. Like that. So, Vasishta Rishi is prominent figure in both the Ramayana and Mahabharata periods. He celebrated the coronation ceremony of the personality of God Sri Rama. If you remember the uh, description in Ramayana, Lord Rama appeared as the son of Dasharatha and uh, one of the queens of Dasharatha, Kausalya, was his mother. So Rama was uh, about to be enthroned. He was the eldest son of Dasharatha. He was about to be enthroned as the as the next king of Ayodhya, uh, succeeding Dasharat Maharaj. But the day before the coronation, uh, Dasharatha's youngest queen, Kaiki, uh, she asked him for uh, two boons, which he had promised to give her uh, earlier. So, uh, the boon she asked, which Dasharath had uh, promised to fulfill. She asked that her son be coronated as the uh, king of Ayodhya and not Rama. So Dasharatha had agreed to give her this boon and every mother wants her own son to be the king. Okay, he agreed for that. But the second boon she asked was very, very, very uh, heartbreaking. It shattered the heart of Dasharatha. The second boon she asked is not only that my son should be coronated as the king in place of Rama, but Rama should be in exile for 14 years from today so that her son can establish himself as the king uh, without any Mm. Opposition from Rama. This was Kaike's calculation. So Dasharatha was completely heartbroken. But nevertheless, uh, he lived up to his promise. And when Rama came and inquired from Dasharatha, what is the cause for his grief the day before his coronation? When Dasharatha said, I have given such a boon to uh, Kaikeyi, two boons, and she is asking these two things. Uh, Rama readily agreed to keep the promise of his father intact. He readily agreed to uh, Bharata, his younger uh, stepbrother, being um, coroneted as the king of Ayodhya to succeed Dasharatha. And he agreed to go to the forest and live in exile for 14 years to keep his father's promise intact. This is an ideal son of his great father. So, um, uh, later on, after 14 years, when he came back, Bharata, of course, did not want to be the king and uh, he would uh, not accept the uh, the 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 position of the king of Ayodhya. He ruled on behalf of Rama and when Rama returned after exile, he handed over charge of ruling the kingdom to Rama. 
Rama was coronated as the uh, king of Ayodhya after he returned from exile and uh, Vasishta was present in that coronation ceremony of Lord Rama. He was also present on the battlefield of Kurukshetra after Treta Yuga. Uh, the Dwapar Yuga began and towards the end of Dwapar Yuga there was the battle of Kurukshetra. So Vasishta was present during the battle of Kurukshetra. He could approach all the higher and lower planets and his name is also connected to the history of Hiranyakashipu. Hiranyakashipu was in Satya Yuga. So this Vasishta is a a, a very very great personality and he has a very 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 long duration of life. All these sages, great sages, they have a very long duration of life. There was a great tension between him, that is Vashishta and Vishwamitra. There was a quarrel between Vashishta and Vishwamitra. As I said in the previous session, they are great personalities, Vasishta, Vishwamitra, Bhrugumuni, uh, Bharadwaja, uh, but they do have some weakness. They do have some weakness. Now, as I said earlier, I am repeating, because of their weakness, we should not disrespect them or we should not look down upon them. You should understand that this material world is a very, very difficult place to live and to find somebody who is a spotless in character, who is completely free from all defects and weaknesses is extremely rare. And who is such a personality who is completely free from all defects? It is one is the Supreme Lord himself who is eternally pure, eternally uh, full of all good qualities and his pure devotees like Narada, the Pandavas, Parikshit Maharaj, Shukadev Goswami. Hmm? So these Personalities who are pure devotees are very, 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 very rare. This is described in the Bhagavatam. How rare are pure devotees in this whole universe? Um, uh, I'm forgetting that verse. Uh, it says that among uh, uh, millions and billions of liberated souls and perfected beings. It is very, very rare to find one pure devotee of the Supreme Lord Narayana. That is what the Bhagavatam says. So, don't think that it's very easy to find a pure devotee in the entire universe, in the entire universe, it's difficult to find a pure devotee. So, given that kind of uh, knowledge, understanding, we can just uh, imagine how uh, we are fortunate to uh, come in touch with Srila Prabhupada, the pure devotee in our age, our time. It's very, very rare. Such pure devotees on the level of Narada, Shukadev Goswami, the Pandavas, Parikshit Maharaj. On their level to find pure devotee is very, very difficult. Nevertheless, those who are not pure devotees but are very, very great personalities compared to common people, compared to even the Devatas, just like uh, Vasishta Rishi. He is very, very great personality, though he is not 
100% free from all uh, defects still. Because of some weakness, there was a quarrel between Vasishta and Vishwamitra. What happened? Vasishta had one wish fulfilling cow called Kamadhenu. And Vishwamitra, while visiting Vasishta, noticed that Vasishta has that Kamadhenu. So he wanted that Kamadhenu. Vasishta Muni refused to spare his Kamadhenu. And Vishwamitra, he killed. 100 sons of Vasishta because Vasishta refused to give him the Kamadhenu. Because Vishwamitra was a powerful king. So, like this, um, there was a, a, some quarrel between them. But both of them, nevertheless, are great personalities. They have their own uh, uh, greatness, uh, great qualities in themselves. So, we will discuss more in the next session. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.